Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad, and welcome to another tutorial on Java programming language. So, in the previous tutorials, we have learned about the concept of arrays, loops, and um, decision making, all these things. But what we have done is we have written all that code inside our main meta. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys about the concept of methods and also I'm going to teach you how you can create some methods in your programs. So first of all, what are methods and what is the use of them? A method is a collection of statements that are intended to do some particular task. For example, uh, let's consider you are writing a program where you have to do the input part, then uh, processing part, then updation part, then display part. So if you use only one method and if you write all that code in that one method, then if you get any error, it's going to be a bit difficult to solve that problem. And if you have to do some particular task again, then you have to rewrite that code. For example, let's say you have written all that code in one method and uh, let's say you have to perform processing task again and again. So at that time, you have to write the code for processing again and again in your code. So what we can do is we can divide that task and give it a name. For example, input part where we gonna put the statements that are related to input. Then let's say processing part where we gonna put the statements of the processing. Then updation part, the updation code and then the display part where we're gonna write the display code. So what happens is when you divide your code, it is very easy to track the error. For example, you have done any uh, error in the updation part. At that time, you just need to go to that updation part and you have to solve that error. If you have done the error in the display part, just need to go to the display part and solve that error. And also, let's say you have to uh, use the updation part or display part or any part again and again in your program. So at that time, instead of writing the code again and again, you just need to call that group of statement you have written or the methods you have written. And because of that, you know, your code is going to be uh, easy to manage. It's going to be very readable. So all right, dude, now how I can create a method in my program. So to create a method in your program or to define a method in your program, we have to follow some uh, syntax. So to create a method or to define a method, first we need to write something called a modifier part in which we specify you know, where our method is accessible, whether we have to create any objects to access that method, etc, etc. So if it is confusing right now, don't worry. You know, I'm going to explain about this in the upcoming tutorials where I'm going to be teaching you guys about the object oriented programming in Java. And after this, we have to write the return value type. This return value type is the value returned by the method that we're going to be creating. So as I told you before, a method is a collection of statement that are intended to do some particular task. So after performing that intended task, we may want to return some result. So for that purpose, we can use this return value type. And after that, we have to write the method name. And after this method name, we have to use a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces. So between this pair of parentheses, we're going to be writing the parameters that are going to be taken by this method. So a method can take zero parameter or no parameter or one parameter or any number of parameter. So if your method takes any parameter, you have to specify that between these parentheses. And then between these curly braces, we're going to be writing the method body. So here this method body is going to contain the statements that we're going to be writing to achieve some particular task by using the parameters or the values given to this method. So now we're going to learn how exactly we can create a method in our program. So after this main method, you know, you guys can see here opening curly brace and closing curly brace. And after this comment, uh, I just going to create a method in my program. And also the method that we're going to create should be inside a class. 
So here inside this class tutorials, we're going to create a method. So to create a method, first we need to specify the modifier. So it's going to be public static and I'm going to explain what this public means, what this static means while explaining about the object oriented programming in Java. So right now, just think that this public means that our method can be accessible anywhere. And also the static means that we don't have to create an object to access the method that we're going to be creating. And after that, we have to write the return value type. So here a method can return any type of data. So just for the demonstration purpose in this tutorial, we're going to assume that our method is not going to return any value. And that's why I'm going to write void. So if your method is returning an integer type of data, then you have to use int here. If it is a floating type of data, then you have to use float. Similarly, depending on the type of data returned by a method, you have to specify that uh, here. So here in this example, our method is not going to return any value. So we're just going to use the void type. It means no value is returned. And then we have to write the method name. So here just for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use the method name display where we're going to be displaying some message. And then we're going to use a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces. Now between these parentheses, if your method takes any parameters, you have to specify that. But in this case, for the demonstration purpose, our method is not going to take any parameters. So we're going to leave it blank. And also I'm going to teach you guys how exactly you can uh, pass some parameters to a method and also how you can return some values from a method in the upcoming tutorials. But right now, just uh, consider that, you know, our method is not going to return any value. And after that, we're going to use a simple print line statement to print some message. So I'm going to use system dot out dot print line. And uh, here I'm just going to display some message, for example, say learning lad rocks. Okay. Now we have defined a method in our program. So now inside our main method, we're going to use a print line statement. So I'm just going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it here. And here we're going to say, welcome to Java tutorials. And then I am just gonna save this. And if I run this program right now, then you guys can see here, we get only welcome to Java tutorials. So now you guys may be asking me like, you know, dude, why the heck this learning led rocks is not printed out. That's because if you only define a method in your class or in your program, it's not going to be executed automatically. All of you know that the execution of a program starts from the main method. So here our program's execution starts from this main method and it's going to execute this statement, this print line statement, it's going to print this string and then there is nothing else to process or no other statements, no other code. So it's going to terminate our program. So our display method is not called or not used in our program. So to execute the statements which are written inside a method, you have to call that method. So to call a method, you have to write that method name here. In this example, it's going to be display and then a pair of parentheses and then the semicolon. So between these parentheses, if this method takes any parameters, then we have to pass that and I'm going to teach you in, in the upcoming tutorials. But right now we're just going to write the method name, which is display and then the semicolon. So here we are calling this display meta. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to run this program. And now you guys can see, welcome to Java tutorials, learning lad rocks. So we have successfully defined a method in our program. And also we have called that method from our main method. 
So a method is a collection of statements which are intended to do some particular task and to define a method first we need to use the modifiers which specify where a method is accessible whether we have to create an object to access that method etc etc and then we have to specify the return value type which specifies what type of data is returned by a method and we have to write the method name and then between the parentheses we have to specify the parameters taken by the methods and then we have to use a pair of curly braces to define the method body and uh, after defining the method to execute the statements inside that method we have to call that method and to call a method we just need to use the method name and then a pair of parentheses and between that parentheses if your method takes any parameters we have to specify that so now you guys can see here our main is also a method it has the modifiers public static then the return type void the method name which is main and then between this parenthesis you guys can see it takes a string array as a parameter then uh, between these uh, curly braces we have written the statements of this main method but the difference between this main method and this display method is that this main method is the entry point of our program or from this main method our program's execution starts and from this main method we are calling this display method another thing that i want you guys to teach is uh, you guys can call this display method as many times you want in your program so here inside this main method i'm going to call this two more times so it's going to be display display and if i run this you guys can see here learning led rocks learning led rocks learning led rocks so as i told you before if you divide your work and if you place that particular part inside a method then it's going to be very easy to manage your code because now if we do any error in this display method then we just need to come to this display method and solve that error and also whenever we have to execute the statements inside this display method or to achieve the task which is defined inside this display method we just need to call that method you know we don't have to write the statements again and again so it's very easy to maintain your code and also it's very easy to solve the errors in your programs so this is it guys this is about the introduction to the methods in java programming language actually we have to learn more about the methods and i'm gonna teach you that while explaining the classes and objects so right now in this tutorial i'm just giving you an idea about you know what are these methods what is the use of them and how to use a method in our program so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel so whenever i upload a new video you will get a notification and also like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and um, you guys can get the source code of this tutorial in my website learninglad.com and i'll see you in the next tutorial